Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a French classic, the Opinel. Uh, now I have a selection of Opinels here we'll take a look at. I'm going to concentrate primarily on this one. Uh, this is the one that I carry most often. You can see it's wearing off the Opinel name there. This is a number eight. And this is, the, the standard number eight is probably the best selling of the Opinels. The number refers to the length of the blade in centimeters. So a number eight has an eight centimeter blade, a number six has a six centimeter, a number 10 has a 10 centimeter, and uh, so on. Now, the standard Opinel comes with this sort of a clip point blade. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of a cutout here. It is a 12C27 steel. Now this does come in both a stainless, which is the 12C27, and a carbon steel. This is a number six in the carbon. And as you can see, the carbon will begin to patina. If you like that, get the carbon. If you don't like that, get the stainless. Now, all of these Opinels have wooden handles. Uh, you can get Opinels without wooden handles, and you can also get Opinels with a variety of different woods. These are the standard beechwood handles. You have the blade, as I said, very simple, very slicey. Uh, I carry this number eight a lot if I go uh, on picnics with the family, or maybe we'll go to a brewery or a winery or something and bring along some lunch you know, cut fruit, cheese, meats, whatever you like, this does a really good job. It's a friction folder. There's no back spring, nothing like that. It's just the friction. Now, one thing Opinel's, uh, because they wouldn't handle, if it's more humid or a wet day, the wood will swell a little bit, they'll be harder to open. If it's a dry day, they'll be easier to open. Now, you also have the fiber lock, which just twists. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with this. Uh, many people have seen open owls. You twist it, it is locked open. Close it, you can also twist it, and it is then locked closed. Now, open owls, you can open with one hand. You give a little tap. You get it out, you open it one-handed. You can also close it one-handed. Now, as I say, this is the number eight, probably the most popular size. Uh, this is also a number eight, uh, but this has the painted handles and it has a little leather lanyard on it. Uh, it's the Outdoors series or something of that nature, they call it. The number eight, I think, is good for people with just sort of a, an average to large size hand. If you have a little smaller hand, something like a seven or this is the six, it may work well for you. This is a little small for my taste. If you have a little larger hands, something like the number nine. And I'll give you a little comparison. Uh, since the eight is the one that most people are familiar with, you can see the nine is just a little bit larger. Then we have the number 10, which is, of course, larger still. They make them up to a 13. Uh, the 12 is the most, is the largest common knife, but you can get a 13, although the 13s are quite expensive. As far as going down the numbering system, you can get as low as a two. They used to make a number one, they don't make that any longer. Uh, anything a size six or above is going to have the lock. The five on down will not have a lock. It'll just be a friction folder. Now, in addition to this sort of standard type of knife, you can get the Opinel Filet knife. Okay? And this is a number 12 Filet. This is the largest of the Filet knives. See, it has the Filet style blade. It's a little thinner, has some flexibility to it has a uh, different shaped handle as well. 
if you are a fisherman, this may work well for you. Another type of knife they have is the garden knife. This has a spear point blade on it, and again, you can see the the handle is shaped differently. This is a knife that's designed to be used uh, in the garden. These open L's are relatively inexpensive. The number eight will probably run you 15 to 17 dollars, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on where you get it. The smaller knives, like the six, will be a couple dollars less. The nine or the 10 or anything larger than that will be a little more. This style might run you about $18 or $19. Uh, you know, you've got the paint and everything. The fillets uh, might run around $20. This garden knife probably around $18. They're really not expensive, and they are, uh, I think, a very classic and classy-looking knife. Um, the nice thing about them, you know, they're not tactical. You can just take them out, use them uh, in on a picnic, uh, maybe even in the office if you wanted to. And they're not something that's likely to scare people. They're just a very basic knife that's been around for well over a century. I think open L's are great knives. Uh, I love them. I would encourage you to check them out. Everybody, I think, should have at least one open L in the collection. Hope you found this interesting. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.